Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from uh, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, and I will read it. It says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man, but God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Have you ever heard anyone say, that God won't put more on you than you can bear. And they were asked to say, now you know that the Bible says God won't put more on you than you can bear. I've been looking for that verse and haven't been able to find it. But I think when people say that, that they remember the last portion of this verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 13. Don't take me on authority as far as that, that that's where that, that saying comes from. But I, I think uh, what they remember is the last portion of this verse that says that God will make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. I think that's where it comes. I don't know for sure, but you probably have heard the same thing. God won't put more on you, baby, than you can bear. But what this tells us is that no temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man. So you don't face a temptation that nobody else ever has faced in their life. Your temptation is not some supernatural temptation that only you and you alone have faced. Others have faced it as well. Your temptation is a temptation that is common unto man, which means that some have overcome it. It also means that some have failed to it. But in all of this, listen, we're not on our own because God is faithful. God is full of faith that God is faithful, that he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. In other words, God places a limit on the temptation that you will face. No temptation then will be too arousing, too pleasing, too satisfying, too uh, appealing to you to the point that you just can't help yourself. But we have to do our part. Remember, James tells us how everybody's going to be tempted. No one is going to escape the, the temptation because the enemy is going to come against you and attack you. But when it comes, what we need to do is make sure that we submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee you. In other words, first of all, you have to have the self-awareness that you're going to be tempted. Don't be in denial. You will be tempted, especially as a child of God. You will be tempted. So recognize that fact. And when the uh, temptation come, submit to God. Begin to roll over in your mind the word of God and allow that to dominate your thought. Allow that to dominate your presence. And then notice as you're in tune with God that he will make the way of escape. But you won't recognize the way of escape if you're not in relationship with God the way you ought to. In other words, you'll give in to the temptation. You'll look up and you'll think, how in the world did I get here? But if you were in tune with God, you would recognize the way of escape. You would have the discernment to recognize the way of escape when he provides it. God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. He will, the word of God, he will provide the way of escape. Mm. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you today. Know that you're not alone. God is with you. Be safe out there and then tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse. Amen.